Gear 6. Thank you so much. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I got a mystery box of Cardos today. No, actually, I think I know what's on in here. It does say Bandai, so this is a Bandai product. And this is supposed to be One Piece cards in here. Uh, this was a set of the One Piece collectible card game. It lived for one set in the US. I think it went more sets overseas. I think it was like 15 sets or something like that. But there was one set here, and I've heard about it, but I've never seen the cards, so I was able to find a box of the cards, and I figured I would shrip them here with you guys. And if you enjoy this stuff and this is your first time here, come on by and smush that subscription button to check out weekly shrip-ems and Dragon Ball Super Card Game goodness. If you are a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you so much. Now, let's check out this shrip-em. So this is the box here. It's white. There's not really much going on except that it says Bandai. That's really all that we know about that. But of course, I'm gonna get my Shrip'em knife here and hopefully there are actually One Piece cards in here. I totally don't know what's going on in here just as much as you do. Some pretty, that's some pretty weak plastic right there. And in this treasure box, we find, yeah, these are One Piece cards. So One Piece, Passage to the Grand Line, collectible card game. I guess that's what this game was called. Um, it is made in China, it is not made in Japan. Uh, Cartoon Network for Kids and Toei Animation. And they all have a Bandai sticker on them also. So in here, there's nine randomly selected cards, five common, three uncommon, and one rare. There's a parallel holographic in every pack. A silver rare card is in every 12 packs. A gold rare card in every 48 packs. So I guess this is probably 24 packs, I'm guessing. So there's probably a one in two chance that there's a gold rare in here. But these are the cards, so let's strip them. Of course, as we get all these packs out of here, we're gonna need to bless them the pack. Oh, pack them be blessed. Oh, one piece, strip them the gold rare gear six. Thank you so much. Let's strip them. So this also has a strip them nub here. I don't know if the technique is gonna be exactly the same. Oh, didn't get that one great, but ooh, wow. This is already shiny. There's already a shiny card in here. This is actually pretty sweet art. This Nico Robin, Evil Flower. It's got 400 power and maybe, is this? So maybe the first card is the foil card and then the rest of the cards are the commons and stuff like that. The laughing pirate, Rufi, the beast of Arabasta, Chaka. Is that Garp just clowning on Toby there? I think. I've only read uh, One Piece. I haven't watched all of the anime. I've watched a bunch of it, but not all of it. Ooh, yes. Those are some toasty hands. The spirit of the nose, the god. All right, so there's our commons. And this foil card actually looks pretty good. And maybe this is a silver stamp actually, because there is silver on here. I don't know, but we'll have something to compare it to in this next strip em. Let's see if I can get this strip em technique down in one clean. There we go. There's a more clean strip em. Chaka. Okay, so Chaka does not have silver foiling. So I think that Nigo Robin was a silver foil card. The first one that we pulled. And then here we have some more commons. Chef of the Pirates, that one's pretty cool. I imagine this one comes in foil also. I don't know if they all come in foil, if they all have parallel foils, or if it's just kind of like certain cards. I imagine like this one would probably have a parallel foil. I don't know if these, I, I have no idea the mechanics of this game or how this works. So I can't speak to the competitive nature of it, but these look like like either battle cards or, you know, some kind of card that you attack with or something like that. So kind of interesting. Oh, this is cool art. One on one. Another strip them. These are kind of hard to strip them because the nub is so far away. April Fool's Day. Miss April Fool's Day. A prominent realism pattern. She looks like she's really got the idea for what her painting's going to be. But the, the foil on these looks pretty cool. Is it the whole thing or is it contained to yeah the whole card is foil yeah pretty good looking card and then we have three smooth talking navigator look at nami looking sleek with her expensive outfits 
the user of the Kilo Kilo fruit, Miss Valentine, and the Luffy, Trophy Trouncer. This is when they go to uh, Drum Island. Luffy is blasting out, blasting out of the wall. What a, what a fit. Chopper has got such a sleek fit on. Look at the flowers on his hat and that look on his face. What a smooth criminal. President Heavy, the handsome swordsman. Oh, so handsome. Such a handsome man. And the courage of the squad. And the running man, Koza. Very, very cool. Yeah, this art's rad. I, I like the art. Um, I, maybe the game wasn't good. I wonder if they ever were to like make another game like Dragon Ball, but with One Piece IP, I would definitely be into playing that. And here we got a chopper, shiny parallel foil. The skilled blue nose doctor. Chopper, the blue nose to doctor. Uh, here we have the island whale with the Luffy painted on him. He's gonna come back. It's gonna get better. Heat fist. Chef of the Pirates, Sanji with the kicks. Boots and pants, the silent soldier. This man, uh, did they take the cigar out of his mouth to make it like, and his name is Chaser? Weird, I get, maybe they changed him in the, in the US version of things. A feminist, interesting. I mean, I guess that lines up with where Sanji goes. The future of the Navy, Toby and Helmup, Helmeppo, putting in work, Crocus. Huh, I think they took the cigar out of Smoker's mouth. Didn't, didn't look like he had a cigar there. Shrip him. Sanji, we got a parallel foil Sanji, very nice. So yeah, I, it looks like it's all the character arts that come in parallel foil. I haven't seen anything that is crocodile. Crocodile, I would like to get a parallel foil of him. I wonder if the silver and gold foil just have stamps on top of the regular it's like spr and scr but the scr is still the same as the spr i don't know if if there is a higher rarity or something like that outside of these just the way that they stamp them which i guess would make it easy to collect and deck build the running man we got a koza parallel foil and garp lieutenant general of navy headquarters i love garp's hat look at that doggo hat very nice. Mysterious power. The powerful hitter. General Hot Dog. How about a hot dog? Color trap. Uh, who? Confidence of the strong. Portcas D. Trace. Wait, what? Is his name Trace in the... How did they... <laughs> Is that for real? Is his name actually Trace? That's, that's so lame. I guess that is... Tracer! Weird. Oath of the Princess, Vivi in a parallel foil. Very nice. Wapple, wow, look at this dude. Not looking too thrilled. He looks like he had a bad day. He might have eaten the wrong teacup for lunch. He's got 500 power too. That looks pretty strong compared to the other. Uh, Usopp is weak. The brave soldier with 300 power. Mighty Matron, Miss Monday, looking like a boss. Yeah, I think they, they, they just kind of got onto the grand line with this set. I don't think they got very deep into the grand line. I think this this is basically like up until they meet Ace or I guess get, oh, Sanji parallel foil. Very nice, wow, that parallel foil looks nice. I like how they made his necklace, the gem on his necklace foil, the feminist. Um, great adventure, Choppa. Hawkwave, God of Boost, Pep Talk, one on one. I like this card. I think the art on this card is super cool. Oh, I guess these are cards that different cards use because it says card user Crocus. So, like, you can use a certain card with another card, I guess, something like that. Maybe. It's my best guess. I don't know. Still don't know. And another Shrippum. Portka's D Trace. We got the Trace Parallel Foil, the user of the Flare Flare Fruit. What happened in this translation? What a mistake. No wonder why this show didn't do well in English. Great Pirate of the Desert. Luffy, that's cool art. The Basco Star. Yeah, um, I don't know if you guys have watched One Piece, but I I've watched parts of it. I've read it. It's definitely the best story I've ever read. The original Evil Sheriff. It is It is an absolutely amazing story. Don't get me wrong, I love Dragon Ball. I am a Dragon Ball 
fanatic, but um, I just, this the story of One Piece, it's just such a good story. It's been going on for so long and the silent soldier, parallel foil, non-smoker, the countless battler, the way that the story just kind of loops back into itself and uh, how much it is connected to itself in the big picture of the story, Mobambi. Uh, it really, really, Oda does a really amazing job of tying it into itself, which is not something that a lot of stories do. A lot of stories kind of have different pieces that substantiate the bigger things that happen as a different kind of context, like later on. But everything is sort of, he set up the story very, very, very well. This is a cool looking Zoro, Zoro, Zolo, Zolo, Zoro no Zoro. I'm surprised they didn't just call him Zoro in, in the English version. Miss Monday gets to use brass knuckles. Very, very cool. The Rebellion Shank, oh, that's not Shanks, Koza. And Mr. Nine, all right. So I wonder, I'm really curious about the silver foil, silver rare and gold rare reprint replacing the parallel hog it must be it must just be a parallel holographic with a stamp mr five here onigiri onigiri zoro dr stop the adventurous captain this will be good looking in parallel foil i wonder what they would make parallel foil on that if they did that sanji tashigi she got her name nami the navigator nami's name stayed the same yeah, I, uh, I'm looking for it. I'm actually excited about the Netflix adaptation because I believe that Oda is pretty connected and involved with, I think we already got this parallel flow to she, Mr. Nine, Chaka, Nami the Navigator, God the Boost. Yeah, in it's just such an amazing story. And I feel like there was no English justice, but, uh, and that's the back of the cards also. Shonen Jump's One Piece collectible card game. Thank you, Shonen Jump, for your card game that you've given us. Luffy, the Laughing Pirate. This is definitely going to be a token of mine. I will for sure be using that as a token. It's a great looking card. Crocodile. I would like to get a parallel foil crocodile as well. It looks like only the character cards. These seem more like extra cards, and these are like the character cards. I think these are the only ones that come in the parallel foil. Have another shrimp. We're working our way through this box. Luffy, the great pirate in the desert. Nice. I like how they put the parallel foil on the barrel right there. That looks good. That's a nice shiny touch to that decision, design decision. The cards look cool. I, I like the look of the cards. I mean, they're definitely not on the level of Dragon Ball, but they're good looking cards. And I feel like if they use the. Uh, if they use the One Piece IP, I think they could make a really great, a really great game because there's so many characters, there's so many things the characters do. Nami the Navigator, parallel foil, that's a good looking parallel foil. Uh, what else do we get here? Great Swordsman of the Three Swords. That is a flame ass Zoro. I like how he goes outside of the box of this like frame. I think that's really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I'm. I think that we there's more that is understood about card games now. I think that there's more card game development that's happened. So I think recreating a card game with this story would be very possible. So if anybody's listening over at Bandai, Nami the, Nami the Navigator, she's gone outside the box also. She's got some shiny beads on that looks cool. And her jewelry on her arm also. Nice decisions. You know, these cards are simple, but they look really cool. Thousand kilo guillotine, the slick sniper, confidence of the strong, Porcus D. Trace. Are you kidding me? What a joke. Yeah, I dig it. I, I dig it conceptually. On, on these pieces of cardboard, I think it looks great. Usopp. So there's one silver foil so far. I haven't, and that was the first one that we pulled, was the Nico Robin. And it was the same as another Robin card. It just had silver foil, I think stamped on her name. I think that was the only thing, only place where it had any silver foiling. It was just 
right by her name. Oh, we got the silver foil Portcas de Trace. Man, <laughs> Trace. <laughs> what a pirate. What a crazy pirate. Wapple. Pell, that's cool art. The wings of Alabasta. Munch Munch Factory. Kilo Fruit. Great Sacrifice. So it looks like it's about half and half, these kind of extra cards or something. So this was made in 2006, so that was a while back. I feel like One Piece has gained a lot more popularity, and One Piece seems to be kind of like the most popular one in Japan, the Count Battler. Out of all the animes over there, I think One Piece really has the strongest following. I mean, Demon Slayer has been crazy popular since the movie, and I haven't been to Japan since the movie came out, so I can't really speak to it, but I can definitely say One Piece has a very, very well represented presence in Japan. Laboon parallel foil. That's a cool looking parallel foil. His teeth all shiny. Wow. And his tongue. Wow. And the scars. Wow. That's a really sick one. I like that a lot. Wow. Yeah, they made some really good design decisions on these things, but I guess it just didn't last here. Probably just didn't pick up, but it sounds like overseas it, it went for like 15 sets or something like that. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, with the mechanics of Dragon Ball, if there's a game that was made, I would be into that. Garp Parallel Foil. Very nice. The doggo's eyes are shiny. That's cool. Flashy eyes. Flashy style. If anybody's watching Demon Slayer right now, how exciting is that? I can't wait for next week's episode. Nami. Looking instinctive. Smelling a storm. What's that storm smell like? Our trip. Um, can we get a gold one? Gold stamp? No. Mr. Nine. Parallel foil. Gum gum rapid fire. I think we've seen most of these cards by now. Most of these regular card rarities. So I guess if it's a parallel foil, they put the little R in the corner. Maybe that's what they do. Now bless them the pack to strip them. The Blessum and Miss Valentine is our last parallel foil. And then we got a bunch of these similar cards. Bomb Boogie, that's a booger, in case you were wondering. Uh, dum, gum Gum Double Barrel, and yep. Oh, Mr. Two, I wish we got a parallel foil Mr. Two. He's one of my favorite characters. And Mr. Mr. Three. Um, so the guy that I bought these from on eBay, he was nice enough to send me this other, um, Thing. I don't know what's in here, but it has this pack that says Rave, and um, there's these cards, so let's check it out. Uh, so here are the cards that were in here. This is the Quest Begins card game, collectible card game. Is this another set, or... Uh, ooh, there's a silver foil stamp, it looks like. Vow of the Vow of the Tattoo. And then what is in here? Found the One Piece 1, 2, and 3. Luffy's Hidden Treasure. Oh, I guess this makes some sort of a map. And is this the next set or something like that? He told me that there was only one set that came out. Yeah, I mean, these look like all different cards, I guess. So, yeah, this must be... A different set maybe there are two sets or three sets i don't know i haven't really researched it that much i just haven't ever really found any cards and they came in this weird white box so i figured that was what was going on but maybe there's another sex it doesn't look like we got any of these cards so maybe the quest begins exists but it doesn't look like there's any like real oh this is cool any real high rarity cool looking funky cards but then we got this pack of rave cards rave trading card game one booster pack. Let's see what's in here. What is in the rave pack? Shrip them. I have no idea what this even is, but I do like raving. This is this man with a bat. Angry steaming man with bat. Demon Cardo. Robot with the probe. Probot. The techno junkie satellite. And the triangle of doom. And the girl that looks like she's not having a great time. 
that's what's in the rave packs. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the One Piece Shrippum uh, card game that doesn't exist anymore, but existed once upon a time. Uh, I may look to see more cards. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comment section below. I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. So don't get gems implanted into your teeth. It's not a great idea. Uh, damaging your tooth structure so that you can keep stuff in your teeth is not great wearing stuff on your teeth if it's something that clips in or clips on that's fine but if it's something that is embedded into your tooth or your tooth is harmed in the process of creating a place for that to go i'd avoid doing that shiny teeth are great but you can keep them shiny by just brushing and flossing and taking great care of them i'm, I'm joker dmd and i'll see you guys, guys next time, time.